And now to our co-main event. And speaking of upsets, this man hopes to shock the kickboxing world. Mr. James McSweeney. His opponent back to the glory fold. One of the best kickboxers to ever do it, ladies and gentlemen. Go Kansaki! Listen, I respect, I respect you as a fighter. No, you don't. You just said I'm five. I just tell the truth. Okay, that's good. You respect as five. That's your truth. You know, I just but let me tell you my truth. You talk, you're you talk a real about guy that needs you people to blow about. smoke. Not one of you guys here ask him a real question yet. Ask him why he's lost in the last five, six years. That's not your problem. You fight here because Alistair make you fight here. Otherwise, you will you never get a fight. Because I brought you here. Shut up. You're only here because I'm here. You wouldn't even be here right now if it wasn't for me. So speaking of surprises, what can the fans expect to see from you tomorrow night? Fireworks. Fireworks, 100%. Have you seen a five in five years? Why do you see it now? I hope you fight the way you talk shit. I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying it's true. It's the truth. This is not talking shit. This is just what have we seen? What have we seen in five years? I watched your last three fights. Talking money. We're not talking about ten years ago. We're talking about the last three fights you had. This will talk. James McSweeney told us he's here to do one thing. Ruin the party. This fight will not go the distance. I will knock Saki out. And that's the kind of confidence spotter as an underdog you want to have, correct? For sure. But uh, it's still uh, the question if it's uh, really built on something or just built on talk. You know, even a scared dog can talk, you know. Let's see if he bites or only bites. For the first time since 2014, Gokan Saki makes the walk. Joe, we haven't seen him in a while. He took this fight on two weeks' notice. Will he be as good as we remember him here in glory? Well, I think kickboxing for Gokan Saki is like riding a bike. You just don't forget how to do it. This was his first love, and I think just the excitement here, being back in Holland in the big arena, he had no choice but to come back. 101 professional kickboxing victories. There's only one, Gokan Saki. No touching of the gloves from Saki. Scheduled for three rounds, not many people expect it to go that long. We're going to see Saki probably try to mix in some good body punches to open up the head. Big knee there from McSweeney. Yeah, he's stuck. McSweeney says he's well prepared, 16 week training. Oh, the high kick dives in the head, that's called a knockdown! That will be called a knockdown! Maybe it's Fight. not. He's changed his mind. I swore he started counting. So some controversy here in the first. He's, he's too focusing too much on the head, you know? Just, just keep the relax. He doesn't block anything, so you know? Tweedy with a kick. The abdomen. It's Saki who goes upstairs. The outside, Saki's going to come forward. And just wherever you are, you're in a dangerous position for Saki. If anything, you've got to try to wear Fight. him out, try to grind him out. Saki didn't have a full camp, so he could survive this first round next week. Things could maybe change. And Saki took this title just two weeks notice to the glory kickboxing ring. What things were going through your mind in the first round of your fight with Rico? Uh, it's just the, the timing, you know, the rhythm. It's hard to find the uh, legs, the legs. You can see the legs with the jump. Let's go Saki, and McSweeney hits him with a kick in the back. McSweeney believes that Inside looking. Saki's not in great shape, and then he'll start to fade in the second round. His nose is already bleeding from the McSweeney, or I sent him. Busted nose. And then go to the back leg again. You see, he knows it's coming the back leg, so... Oh, that you got to create a distraction. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Go somewhere else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Like a just... But I think Mike will tell him now in the corner this uh, this thing. I know Mike now. All right, let's see what kind of gas tank Saki has. Oh, he looks good. He does look relaxed, Joe. All five judges scoring that for Saki. I think uh, Mick Spoon's corner told him he has to press him because he will get tired now. Because that's what I see trying to press him a lot, but... This is the heavyweight division. One punch, one kick can change everything. And Saki signed a change in that. His height advantage is fully negated as he crouches down. Another low kick, and now it's him down. What a low low kick by Saki. Hold. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Get. Five. There now. 
Well, that was an A-plus performance from Gokan Saki. The crowd probably thought he was going to work the hands, see the speed, but it was the low kicks. What a moment for Gokan Saki. He said, I need pressure to perform my best. He felt it all week, and you can see the relief as he ran and jumped into his trainer, Big Mike's arm. By knockout, Gokan Saki! How does it feel to be back in the glory ring after more than six years, man? I think the best feeling, what I had since I stopped fighting for glory in the ring. So I'm very happy I'm back. Now with a lot of fans in the stadium who are voting for you, what do you want to say to them? Man. That's, that's them, my family, they're all my family. I want to thank everybody for supporting me still after so many years. I love you guys. I cannot tell it with words. I just can say I love you guys and I hope I'm going to show you guys more, some, uh, some of uh, Saki skills. We're glad you're back. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Go, go!